Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker and welcome to a new Let's Play series for Shadow Empire, the new 4X war game that I am absolutely in love with. If you're watching this uh, currently upon release, then you might be thinking, hey, don't you already have a series going? I do, and I am actually retiring that series. The reason there, I've been playing a little bit on my own and I've learned so much about the game and I decided I wanted to play on a harder difficulty. The series we had was on beginner, um, and I really wanted to challenge myself. And I played a little bit on the second difficulty. I played a little bit on the third difficulty. Third difficulty is very hard. It is the hard difficulty, and that's what we're going to do. It's incredibly, incredibly likely that we are going to die. Um, so expect that, and I'm fine with that, right? I want to. I want that challenge. I want to be on the front lines. To die in a blaze of glory and gain lessons from that because that's uh that's what i'm all about here i will say that this will not be a tutorial series per se i'm not going to go into such detail on everything if you're looking for that the first uh episode that i made for this game which uh i'll try and link um goes into much more detail for these kind of basic concepts i'll still inevitably end up talking about it because i just kind of can't help myself but just putting that out there. However, I will, you know, of course, be explaining my decision making and all that. So let's just go ahead and start a new game and see what we got here. I will be just doing an unclassified planet and just see what pops up here. Um, I think that's going to be fine. Uh, yep, we are on hard difficulty here. So get ready for that. Everything else is on. Also, in, uh, in the other series that we were playing, no crime syndicates and no corporations showed up for us, which made me a little bit sad. Made me a little bit sad. So, okay. Everything else we're just going to leave on the default and go ahead and continue. In a perfect and fast orbit around a yellow star. Seems great. Um, I wonder, is this a large map? Because I kind of want a small one. That looks a little bit better. Let's go for that. 109 by 443. We'll take the smaller map. Cut off some tiles there. Very dry planet with minimal surface water. A thin atmosphere. We got mountains. We got some decently deep oceans. And we do have water here, which is nice. That does make things easy. It is, um... It's hot. It's hot. Okay. We can deal with that. There's no alien biology on the planet. There is also no oxygen on the planet whatsoever. Very well. We can deal with that. Colonization. Uh, yeah, people came here. Valuable mining deposits. A mining hub of the sector. Lots of mining stuff. Great universities. Small companies. Big corporation. And then, of course, the apocalypse arrives. The Dissolution War. Reach us in 8006, and all kinds of bad things happen, and almost everyone dies. There's a lot of raiders. That's scary. That's very scary. We're probably going to end up having some combat potentially early on and aggressive neighbors. We'll, we'll have to see. So there you have it. Varela's Prime. Let's just go ahead and jump right on into things. Right on into things. Um, we are going to... We're not going to be Geocon. I'm going to go again. We are the Makers. Led by man, the title actually. We're actually going to be the faction of man led by the maker. How about that? That makes a little bit more sense to me, doesn't it? It does. Um, Is the tree here? The tree is there. I love the tree. I will always be the tree given the opportunity. I have a tattoo on my arm of a tree. And I have several avocado trees growing in my kitchen they're very small i actually just tweeted a picture about that today you can find me at man the maker lp if you're at all interested in i know uh, non 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 game things but i also tweet about games of course um anyways blah 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 i like the vertical yes there it is okay and now we get to kind of choose who we are in the beginning and um, what I think I'm going to do, we're going to go with government to start off. And we're going to go into heart to start off. Sacred sorts of oil loyalty. 
and we are going to go I think for autocracy because I'm honestly scared about what's going to happen. <laughs> so we are going to go into autocracy a little bit stronger here. So if you're unfamiliar, there are three different categories of your profile, which we just kind of selected how we start. And you can always change them, but it unlocks certain things. We'll look at that a little bit closer. We are the maker of man indeed. The time of bureaucracy. So every epoch, every game you start, you're in a different time, a different epoch. When it ends, a new one will begin, and there are some bonuses. Some can also be uh, challenging, I believe. This one is nice. It basically gives us more research points. Um, right off the bat, we get propaganda assist, free political points, gladiators, and militia losses. I will, I'm going to call them political power until the developer of the game changes political points to political power, because he really should. Vic, I think your name is, if you're somehow out there listening, please change it. And if you are not Vic, you can tweet at him and let him know. I will do the same, but I'm, I encourage you to uh, harass the maker of this game <laughs> to change that. I love you, man. I love you, but it, I, I feel passionate about this. Anyways, these are cards that you play throughout the game. They give bonuses, right? We're not going to worry too much about that if you don't know. This is our cult that we start with. You always start with one, unless you turn them off. Don't really remember what the Eternity Movement does, but we're going to find that out. We got our Ascension speech. So right away we can say, okay, what is important to us? And this brings us back again to this kind of, um, these profiles that we have. We've got politics, we've got society, and we've got psychology. We went autocracy, we went government, and we went heart. And my strategy, my plan here, this is something that I've just cooked up. Instead of going for the ones that we've already picked, right? There's three in each, and you can really only get one of them high. Though I think you can get two, two of them to be high-ish, but not really. Despite going for the first one already, what we're going to do, we want to boost up maybe a secondary one in the very beginning and try to get some of it unlocked. In particular, mind, because mind gives you a bonus to research. We'll take a quick look at this, actually. So this is like, these unlock. It's a percentage chance based on how high this is. And as you go further up, you unlock more things and you, you get the chance to unlock more things. And mind just giving you that technology fascination research bonus 30% right off the bat is really good. With that in mind, I think we also want to get engaged politicians. I want to get democracy. So we're going to probably do a speech for democracy. Political bonus just gives you more political points. Um, and that's really good. Really, really good. So we are going to try and do that. And with that in mind, I mean, instead of just going for autocracy, we're going to go for the people. Democracy. No. Yes. <laughs> Engage politicians, political bonus 40%. And because I did that, you can now see we now have an 8% chance per turn to get it. And the moment we get this, we're just going to completely abandon democracy and just go straight hardcore into autocracy. New organization to start off with. These are like the different government organizations that you have. And Economic Council was always the one to do first. Thank you. A training opportunity in 2nd Guards Battalion. That's kind of ridiculous that we started with this. We have some training opportunities in our 2nd Geocon Guards Battalion. You can either form several prospects into a specific disciple discipline or we can put all efforts into improving one i'm going to go for this because we want mind because again if we can get technology fascination 30 percent research bonus is really really nice and not so hard to get so we will go for the two elite snipers what do they do well we'll look at that as well in a second um thank you do we get tons of water not tons of water but we do get some water um, all right, here is where we've started. And I'm going to quickly go and find those. Yeah, there they are. <coughs> These are like attachments, basically. And also your profile, the, the different governments unlock different attachments. These elite snipers, basically, whenever you hit in combat, you reduce the XP of the target. And this can have a significant difference, I think. Okay. 
first moves. Our, all of our resources are fine. We don't really have to worry about any of this stuff right now. But it is food, water, oil, ammunition, metal, industrial points, which is incredibly useful, power, radioactives, recruits, colonists, rare metals, machines, and finally high-tech parts. These we don't really need to worry about so much right now. In fact, we're really not going to worry about any of them for the first few turns. Because what do we do in the first few turns? We explore. And when you explore, you take territory. And unfortunately, we are surrounded by the Weimar domain, a major regime, right up against our borders. Great. And to our south is Redshire, a minor regime. And they're not going to be too happy about it. But we have to do this. We have to go and move out and try and grab territory. There's really no choice. If we don't do it, we're screwed. Nice. This is a great find for us. Because there's 48,500 free folk here. Free folk are just unaffiliated, but they will join your city if your people are happy. And uh, we're kind of hoping that we are. Geocon guards. We're going to leave some people home. The 300 machine gun militia seem like a good choice. You guys, just drive, drive, drive. And so there, yeah, there's the, the closest regime, this minor regime. There's a big difference between major and minor. It's very unfortunate that we are completely surrounded by this one guy. They will be our enemy. There's really nothing we can do about that. And that's all we have to do right now. Okay. <laughs> um, we did pick this thing up. Luxury brothel. If the unit has morale growth in the same zone as the brothel, then plus two extra morale growth. Okay, I guess. That's probably fine. Um, they're going to be very unhappy that I'm doing this. And they're probably just going to come back in and like take a bunch of this territory. At some point, we'll have the option to finalize borders, which we're probably going to want to do until we can actually go ahead and attack them. We're going to have to. Otherwise, there's no way for us to go. So we're going to need to do that without a doubt. Um, quick look at our strat um, stratagems. Always pretty much want to go for this. This is just basically another leader that you can use to assign. And we got one fate point. Fate point is hard to come by, and it gives very... I mean, they're kind of like free bonuses. You can use your fate points to get, say, gladiators. This increases um, civilization rating in a city, which makes people happier, amongst other things. We can do um, propaganda assistant. Somebody just gains bonuses for charisma-based roles. This is quite useful um, for some in particular, if you've got uh, your foreign affairs advisor. I think we're going to go ahead and just grab the political points. We're going to recruit the junior. And we're going to discuss, we, I mean, you have to do this anyways at some point. I'm just going to go ahead and set up a meeting with our cult. Because that you always have one. And now we're going to set the tone with them. That tone is certainly going to be friendly. And that's it for the first turn. Let's go ahead and end it. Not much else to do. We have to see how um, Redshire reacts to us. I think it was Redshire. I kind of expect to see them just like go and take all of this territory back. We're almost certainly going to have to fight them. And I think we're going to have to fight them rather aggressively. Which is not great. Militia force. So beginning of the turn, you always get all these events. This one always happens. Time bureaucracy is, is gaining. We're getting more bureaucratic points, which again is just research. Um, we gain 10 machinery, which is really, really nice. Really, really nice, actually. Usually you have to buy that in the beginning. Okay. We can meet the CEO and we can get antitrust office. What this means is that a corporation has been founded. Corporation is kind of like a neutral faction that exists within your cities. Um, you can get cards that interact with them. They can do good things for you. They can also do some less good things for you. I've had nothing but good experiences with them. <laughs> 4,400 militia troops, 3,600. We, we want to use our 3,600 recruits to raise some regular troop formations probably true that we do it's probably true that we do you guys try and ooh, there's radioactives out here that's really interesting 
There's the Barrack Cliffs, and I, apparently we can tell. I, I think this means that there we can mine radioactives, but probably also it's not a good place to be. <laughs> As one might imagine. Yeah, so there is Liberty. Um, Redshire. Will you tell me what kind of people you are? I don't know enough about you. So this is actually, there's another regime out here. I think we don't want to piss them off too much. And here, there's no one over here. Well, that's where we got to go. Radiation everywhere. Armed Incorporated? Strange. Okay. So one thing to note, we're going to have, right, corporate control is here and cult followers. We've got some danger, probably because we're going to be so close to these borders. They're not going to be happy. Militancy level is at 100, which is great. Now we got some decisions to make. I mean, you try and grab as much of these as possible. That's actually really quite nice. Um, Queen Space, there's another minor regime out over here. So we're actually not required to just go ahead and attack this one, but probably we will. <laughs> probably we will. You guys have all moved. You're going to go into guard. Great. And now we have decisions to make. A militia parade, basically like boosting up your militia. Oops. Kind of just improves how... Because these guys are all free. All of our troops right now are militia. They're free. They're generated based on like population and things like that. But also on millet, like your militia rating. <sighs> I will do this. It's a lot of money. But we kind of have to. We kind of have to do it because we are in a tight spot here. Able commander offering services. Former military commander Redshire is willing to join our nation in return for our assistance. My favor is that you liberate his home village on Hex 720. Already done. I do make you this promise. We gain mind and commerce for this. I don't really care about the commerce. It's actually going against what we want, I think, because it limits the government profile. But we do want the mind very much. And our mind is now actually higher than anything else. No, it's not. But that's great because we really, really want to snag that before uh, it fades away. So we're going to hope that that 8% or 10, 9% or whatever it is, 8% will trigger as soon as possible. Same thing for engaged politicians. I mean, <sighs> chances are low, but we got to hope for it. Meeting an eternity movement. The eternity movement really seems harmless. They are obsessed with meditation and connecting what they call the spectrum. Overall, they improve loyalty, but their extended meditation centers have a negative impact on the production levels of our public assets. We can decrease... Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. I want the mind. The meritocracy I don't care about, but I want the mind. And now mind is actually taken over from heart, which is not our long-term goals here, I don't think. Um... I think we're going to end up reversing this. But again, all I want to do is just try and grab this technology fascination. Curiosity culture is, yeah, don't really care about the cultural adjustment bonus. Hey, we get it. We get it. That's great. We are going to come back down and focus on here. Even Macrotagras has got 1% chance. Okay. Decisions. Economic council. Okay, this is our national budget. Supreme Command does a little bit of everything. So we want that to be high, but Economic Council in the beginning is very important. And we have no one really suitable for it. You are intelligent. So probably you, 35. You've got a cap of a three, so you'll get much better. You also like autocracy, which we are going to be going for. So I'm just going to point you because that's who we have. Great. Christy Deepin, welcome aboard. Now... What I always do, bottom out that research priority. There's no point in it right now because the way that the, game, the research in this game works, if you don't know, 
First, you have to discover the tech. Economic councils get the blue here. Military council will get the uh, the greenish, and then the light blue is applied uh, science or something. Um, not useful to get them until much later. First, you have to discover it, then you can research it. But until then, there's really no point in funding the research. So I will bottom you out, lock it in. And then what I like to do, economic policies are good, but we're going to, actually, because we gained that 50 political power, no, we're going to lower this because we're not going to have a lot of, of political power to be able to spend on things because a big priority early in the game is developing the different councils, and that does suck up a lot, a lot of political power. So 40% discovery. Prospecting finds um, metals, basically, different resources, natural resources that are available here. So that's going to be very important as well, which is why it's also at 40%. Um, Zanbund offers us credits? 400 credits? <sighs> the hell Zanbund, sure. Surely nothing can go wrong there. Anyone left to go? Nope, we are all out of movement. You guys are all guarding, which I don't want, actually. Only you. There we go. For some reason, I had selected everyone else. Now, you stay put. This is our headquarters, which we're not going to worry about yet either. Um, one thing we're going to want to do, first of all, we have to hope that we can find metal as quickly as possible. Metal is very, very important. The first things that we usually, I like to build is metal, a metal mine if I can find one. Um, getting up industry is also very good but it's hard to do because you need 1500 metals it's three rounds of using these things 1500 metal is a crap load can't do it yet even the bureaucrats office i mean it's only 200 very good it improves um yeah i mean basically this is where you're, it's not just research it's your funding it's very 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 good to get up this but again we can't really afford it yet that's why we need the metal um also probably raising a formation as soon as possible is going to be very important we can raise a brigade right now a machine gun infantry brigade we can afford it all you need is 50 percent of it why do we not have because we don't have the industrial capacity Apparently. I'm not going to do it just yet. But doing this, considering we're going to need to be aggressive or defensive, really, we're not going to be able to do any attacking for a while. I mean, we are going to need some much, much stronger uh, troops to be able to actually take a city because there's going to be a lot of defenders here. So we're not going to worry about that yet. I think we're all done for the turn as well. Let's go ahead and end it. It always like pops you down to like the bottom right of your of your people for some reason. Which I don't really quite get why it does that. Yeah. It is a big map. We're nowhere near the borders. No losses, no kills. I didn't see any aggression either. We're getting some extra bureaucratic points. We kept our promise to our subjects to conquer Midway. Indeed we did. 90 metal secured. Okay, we'll take it. Recruited junior. Shadow Spy, you can just use this before you try and make a spy action, and it just makes it much more likely to succeed. Ask for help, you ask for a friend for credits or power, uh, political power, we don't have that. Recruiting juniors is very nice. Compliment, we are expanding, yes we are. Metal production, I know. Um, and actually what we're gonna need to do, again, right away, I should've done this last turn, actually. Call my secretary. And say, I need a new organization, please. And I want an interior council. You know, a foreign affairs council right off the bat is not bad. Considering our situation. No, I'm going to go with the interior. Um, Attorney Moon proposes a personal session. You're just going to keep boosting up my meritocracy and my mind, which... 
I don't really want the meritocracy. You do limit democracy, which we also want high, but I will just accept it. Yeah, heart is going down again because it's limited by this. It limits the heart profile, so you made that drop a little bit. These, we've not had any kind of conflict yet. They're still close enough. Unfortunately, we have yet to get lucky and have any of them develop. So really, really hoping that we can get some of them. I mean, if you can get them on these like 4%, 9%, 8%, it's really, will make me such a happy boy. Threat of war, high leader of Queen Space has contacted us. And his raiders are ready and willing to invade us. A small payment of 600 credits. Who the fuck is Queen Space? No, we will not. I cannot afford that. Yeah. Queen Space minus 20. <laughs> we gain more fist. Okay. Technically, now we can unlock volunteerism. 33% chance on extra military battalion until round 20. That would not be bad. Um, Bomber Domain demands release of spy. Apparently, I've captured a spy of theirs. I will... Yeah, we do want mind and heart. So, I will um, accept their offer and get the five political power. Done. Mind and heart. Heart is locked because mind is incredibly high right now. They don't seem to be so aggressive at the moment. Nice, we got the cargo vessel. That's great. Derelict spaceship. Plus 100 bonus research points. That is fantastic that we managed to sneak over there and get that. Um... Dark Fort, are you going to be the only one that even likes us at all? It kind of looks that way. I mean, I think I'm just going to try and grab as much territory as I can. While I can. Because at some point, they're going to say, hey, formalize relations. And then you can't just like take stuff like this. Like apparently we formalize relations with these guys. There's now a hard border. Oh, we're actually at war with them. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that changes some things. Like, probably we need to raise a formation. And I think a machine gun infantry brigade is the way to go. We're going to raise the formation. Done. They all start here. We now have troopers whirlwind. Yeah, machine gun. Okay, they're just called the whirlwind. So we got a bunch of troopers, all of them with like machine guns. Machine guns and infantry, machine guns and infantry, machine guns and infantry. We're gonna need them because apparently we're at war with these guys. <laughs> Which is just great. Hopefully uh, we finalize some relations over here and we don't have to worry so much because I'm going to need to pull back, I suspect, very soon. Y'all have moved. You've moved. You technically can move. And I think it's worth it to just keep pushing out in this direction. The more territory we get, the better. I can meet the CEO. I can recruit a junior. Which I think we're going to do. We're going to do both of these. Execute stratagem. And we're going to meet the CEO. So we can open up relations with the Meyer Corporation. We don't know anything about them. But we want to talk with them and establish some kind of formal relationship with them. And actually, we are out of time here. First episode, we've got war, folks. Oh, boy. Okay. This is going to be difficult. In my test games on this difficulty, things were difficult. And I hope you guys stick around for that because... You know, we got to take this journey together. We're probably going to get smashed to pieces. I don't know why you guys are all in guard. That, that annoys me a lot that, that you just automatically do that, but okay. Um, 
yeah, we're probably going to get smashed to pieces, but we're really going to try and hold on and maybe we can use our brains as humans to be able to prevail here. We'll see how things go. First stand at Midway. That's happened before, folks. If you know your history, if you know your American World War II history, Midway was a turning point. We'll see. I mean, it's difficult to have a turning point when the war just started, but we'll have to see how things go. If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. It's a great way to let me know that you like this game, this kind of content. And to let the algorithms know and spread that good word. And let other people be able to find the channel. It's the easiest way to support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. If you want to support the channel in the other ways, I do have a Patreon. You can always check that out. The link is down below. I've also got a Discord if you want to come and hang out and chat over there. You can tweet at me at ManTheMakerLP. And I've got a Twitch channel. All this information you can find in links down in the description. And I hope you guys do stick around. I'm really, really excited for this. I've, I've, I'm so into this game. It, it just, it's really got me. It pushes so many of, of my buttons, and I haven't really played like a, a, okay, I just played Old World, but different kind of 4X game, I think, a different kind. And so I'm really, really pumped to be playing this again. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And until next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.